and China headers or $250 headers will come up and they'll look just like this, but they're not identical. They won't fit and they'll hit and they'll have all kinds of issues. And then you'll have people that are complaining about these Chinese or these cheapest headers they got. And then it costs like $70 to ship all this weight back to the company and which people don't want to do. Hi, we are back. We have a lot of new people here again. Every time I make a video, there's like five to seven people. Thank you very much for subscribing. The reason why we are shooting this video today is because I've been there, I have done that. I have purchased parts before that I was not sure about and was not sure if they'd fit well and they end up not fitting so well and you don't end up wanting to send them back because you got to pay to ship them back and you're going to lose more money doing that. And I've seen a lot of that happen with people buying headers and putting out reviews that I've read myself which helped me decide if I was going to buy a certain pair of headers or not. So I'm going to show you my version and how I shop for headers and what I spent and you know how much money I save versus what people told me to get or my friends wanted me to get. If you're staying up to date with the 240SX, the turbo is done. Uh, we will cut to that in just a moment. We made a hit on it at about 15 and a half pounds of boost. The air fuels look good, but we have a lot of timing work to do. So we'll cut to that right now so you can see the finished product. Now, for those of you that are buying headers, this goes across the board. This just isn't for Corvettes. This is not just for Hondas, 240SXs. This is for anybody looking for headers altogether. I know there's a large majority of people out there who will get a car and they will be like, all right, I'm just gonna get the cheapest parts I can find so I can get as many parts as I can with my money. And that's not always the best approach to it. That's not always the best way to go about it. So. That being said, you have to be cautious with what you're doing. You can't just buy any products. There aren't a lot of websites that offer reviews, which is why I don't buy directly from websites, because most of the time directly from a website, unless they're a big website, aren't going to have free shipping and lots of perks to moving a lot of product. I like to use eBay a lot of the time, because usually they are the cheapest for what I look for specifically. And 90% of the time, somebody on there, out of all the people selling products on eBay or Amazon, whatever have you, can afford to do the free shipping and will make the price lower. Uh, obviously, Kevin, a friend on the channel, you'll see him from time to time. I'm sure you know who he is. Was like, oh, get Borla and oh, get Cooks. And I'm like, well, that's great, but it's already hard enough to obtain the car, the 240, and this vet while still having the ability to afford just long tube headers for $700. And I didn't want to do that. That's not really what I'm about. I'm about making you know, getting whatever parts I can with whatever I have without blowing, you know, my entire wad. So I knew I didn't want cooks. I knew I didn't want Borla. I can't spend $1,500 to $1,700 a full system because it's just a dramatic spin. I can't afford to spend. Scroll down and you can end up seeing these reviews and these are people that will tell you what their experience was with the purchase. And there's this guy here that even goes as far as to posting pictures of the install and giving you evidence that this product will indeed work on your car and you don't have to gamble what's going on because a lot of the times people will google and china headers or 250 dollars headers will come up and they'll look just like this but they're not identical they won't fit and they'll hit and they'll have all kinds of issues and then you'll have people that are complaining about these chinese or these cheapest headers they got and then it costs like $70 to ship all this weight back to the company and which people don't want to do. They don't want to spend almost $100 sending back a faulty product that doesn't actually work and uh, go further in on their loss as to what's going on and lose way more time. So ultimately, I think a lot of these companies will just rely on the fact that people do not want to send it in and waste more money. And that's where they make a large majority of their money is people that are like, you know what, I'm fed up. I'm just going to start from ground zero and go again. And this is how I basically ensure that I get the right product. We have headers in stock. We have already purchased them. We haven't even had the car a month, but you know me, 
I want to be loud. I want to be heard and I want more performance. And I know I'll gain probably 25 horsepower from the system. The vet currently only has stock exhaust. Everything is stock, stock manifolds, stock cats on the manifolds, stock all the way out to the back tips, the whole nine yards. The system that we got is one and seven eighths long tube headers with the full pipe system all the way to the axle back, which I think it stops right about here. I'm by doing this, I am able to save a lot of money. I paid 430 bucks for a full header system and that is from here all the way to here and it can literally bolt onto the stock exhaust system if I want which I probably will do instead of paying $730 or $780 for a Cooks or a Borla 1 and 7 8 system instead I got another one that I will drop a video for later that you can see. If you want to see it, stay tuned. It will come out. It will be in the future. Again, I do thank you for subscribing. I wanted to make this quick video to educate people. There's up on Google or just getting started from ground zero. They may see this video and they'll be more educated on the purchase because it's something you learn over time really or somebody else educates you about before you even get into the game of modifications and buying parts. So I hope this video worked for you. I hope it helped. If it helped you or if it gave you new knowledge, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Liking the video helps us. It gets us propelled. We are this close to our goal. We will probably be there in a few months at the same rate we're growing now and maybe we'll grow even faster. We don't know. If you like watching the Corvettes, or you want to see more of the Lincoln, which we don't really cover because it's Amanda's car. But if you want to see that, let me know. If you want to see the 240, let me know. We can make that work too. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.